Next, the highlights. Governor Sololu launches Lagos State Land Administration Automation Portal. Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority suspends private jet operator's license over Ibadan crash landing incident. And a foreign sense strong quake hits southern Guatemala. And in sports, Cameron striker reveals team's target against Super Eagles ahead 2023 Afghan encounter. And now the details, I am Mike James. Governor Babajide Sawolu has launched the Lagos State Land Administration Automation Portal. The portal is designed to manage and support applicants, resolve land complaints and provide information on land issues in the state without fiscal interaction with government officials. Speaking at the event held at the Land Bureau in Alausa, Governor Sawolu said the portal is inbuilt with a robust internal business process workflow system called the Momentum Land Administration Solution. The government expressed optimism that the Land Administration Automation Portal will reduce extortion of residents by some officials and improve the ease of doing business as applicable globally. He had this to say. This reliable tool customizes and streamlines business workflow. It's aimed for higher productivity to enhance revenue generation to secure our documents and to improve customer service, the entire customer service experience. And we're expecting that this will be delivered at their doorstep. And our esteemed customers are citizens of Lagos. We want them to have a delightful experience each time they remember what this portal is all about and what land administration is. I can tell you before now, it used to be a nightmare. Earlier in his welcome address, Special Advisor to the Governor on EGIS and Urban Development, Olajide Babatunde, said the development would enable residents solve land issues from the comfort of their home within just three days after payment. Babatunde hinted that Governor Sololu has approved the recreation of land bureau regional offices at the five Ibile divisions of the state to decongest physical interaction at the land bureau office at Alausa. They will no longer need to travel down to Alausa anymore. As you can now, as you can now see them enjoy our services from anywhere in the world on landonline.lagosstate.gov.ng. Now, let us further explore the possibilities of the automation, which will bring efficiency and quality service delivery in line with the Teams Plus agenda. The initiative also aims to en enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of the billing and payment process for land use charge in the state to prevent evasion by property owners. The Links the Building Control Agency, LASPCA, says it is important for owners of completed buildings in the state to obtain a certificate of completion and fitness for habitation before moving into such buildings for habitation. Its general manager, Gwanaoki, gave the advice while presenting a certificate of completion and fitness for habitation to the owner of a three-floor structure, Rasak Busari, at Block 24, Plot 3079B, a ward of the area of the state. Oki, who was represented by his head, the head of building certification department, Oyeni Oluwabumi, said the certificate of completion and fitness for habitation is proof that the building owner followed the laid down rules and regulations guiding building construction in the state. According to the general manager, before the commencement of any building construction in Lagos State, owners and developers must approach LASPCA with their building plan approval where a letter of authorization to commence construction will be issued to them. The Lagos State government has achieved a significant milestone of graduating over 1,700 beneficiaries from the labor-intensive public work fair of the NG CARES program. Special advisor to the Governor on Sustainable Development Goals, Oral Luafini, who stated this during the sensitization of beneficiaries DLI 1.2, said the initiative goes beyond providing jobs as it encompasses skill development, community building, serving as a helping hand to those in need and cultivating a sense of dignity and self-reliance. 
For me, said the sensitization exercise is to further enlighten beneficiaries about the myriad of opportunities and benefits associated with their participation in a program which has become one of the driving forces in realizing the vision of the Themes Plus Developmental Agenda. On the part, Permanent Secretary, Office of SDGs, Tolani Ushudi, who was represented by the Director of Admin and Human Resources, Nikkei Akonji, said beyond the regular stipend received as beneficiaries, the program equally plays a crucial role in enhancing the capacity of participating youth and women, particularly in social services and infrastructure. Or should they also encourage them to leverage the opportunities and benefits provided by the initiative to enhance their standard of living and make a significant contribution to the development of the state. And now, to the rest of the stories. The Niger Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, has suspended the permit for non-commercial flight, PNCF, of Martini Airline Services Limited following the crash landing of its private jet with 10 persons on board in Ibadan or your state. According to the NCAA, the suspension will subsist until a conclusion is drawn that the conditions of the PNCF were compiled with by the private jet charter providers. Director of Public Affairs and Consumer Protection of NCAA, Michael Achimugu said this in a statement through the agency's ex sandal Achimogu said the NCAA has further initiated a safety and economic audit of all private jet operators in Nigeria. NCAA assured the traveling public of its utmost commitment to safety and the entrenchment of global best practices. The Nigeria Air Force has accepted responsibility for the January 2023 airstrike that killed 37 headers alongside their livestock in the Rukumi community of Doma, local government of Nasarawa State. Chief of Air Staff Hazan Abubak has stated this during his visit to the state, accompanied by senior officials of the Air Force. He paid a courtesy call to Governor Abdullahi Suli at the government house in Lafia, predicted on the findings of the review committee on the airstrike report. According to Abu Bakr, one of the core responsibilities of the Air Force is to protect the lives and property of Nigerians. Hence, the unfortunate incident of January 2023 was not deliberate, as no military in the world will intentionally kill those it is mandated to protect. The Chief of Air Staff added that the visit is also premised on the need to calm the nerves and bring closure to the matter, as he believes that such efforts will promote transparency accountability and enable Air Force learn valuable lessons for mitigating similar mishaps in the future. And over to some foreign news, a magnitude 6.1 earthquake has hit the southern Pacific coast of Guatemala, causing some to flee their homes and with early reports of damage to buildings. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the quake was also felt in neighboring El Salvador. There are no immediate reports of injuries, and officials in El Salvador described the quake as strong and said they were monitoring development. And in sports news, Cameroon striker Faris Mombagna says the indomitable Lions will give in their best to secure victory against the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Rigobet Song's side will square up with the Super Eagles in Abidjan. The Indomitable Lions scrapped through the group with one and two draws. Coming up against the Super Eagles will be a huge task for the Indomitable Lions, but Mon Bagna, who plays for Ligon Club, Olympic Marseille, is optimistic they will overcome Ose Pesero's men. The highly anticipated encounter will kick off at 9 p.m. Nigeria time. And that was our news at 10. But just before we go, stay alive. Make sure our pedestrian bridges where available. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X, formerly Twitter, Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Watch us live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. 
They do know that the Sawulu administration completed the renovation of the library at the state's criminal investigation department, Kwanti Yaba. Well, you can get more details on the Lagos State Government website and to end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Governor Baba Jine Sawulu has launched the Lagos State Land Administration Automation Portal. The Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, has suspended the permit of non-commercial flights PNCF of Martini Airline Services Limited following the crash landing of its private jet with 10 persons on board in Ibadan, Oyo State. We also told you that a magnitude 6.1 earthquake struck the southern Pacific coast of Guatemala, causing some to flee their homes and with early reports of damage to buildings. In sports, Cameroon striker Faris Mombagna said the indomitable Lions will give their best to secure victory against the Super Eagles of Nigeria and for contact with the newsroom. Send a message to Lagos Traffic Radio at lagosstage.gov.ng. And that ends the news broadcast. This was compiled by Adirayodu Olaya. Thank you for listening. My name is Mike James. Good morning.